Our top story, a new look at the evidence behind the case to charge a state trooper with murder. For the first time, we get an in-depth look into the closed BCA file on the traffic stop that killed Ricky Cobb II. The charges against Trooper Ryan Londrigan were dropped, but as Fox 9's Paul Bloom tells us, the two sides continued to battle over legal issues outside the courtroom. You not like us as a person? You just you seem like a little edgy around us. The closed Bureau of Criminal Apprehension investigative case file includes body and squad camera footage from the troopers involved in the deadly traffic stop encounter with motorist Ricky Cobb II. Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Oh. The video is Trooper Ryan Londrigan firing from the passenger side door authorities had previously made public. Yes, you can pursue. Air Patrol is with Pat from the LTAC 2 for a pursuit with shots fired. Westbound 94 from Dowling, David Boy Frank 402. For the very first time, though, we hear the dispatch audio after Cobb is shot, his vehicle rolling down the freeway before crashing. Anyone have an update? We have three gunshot wounds to the avenue. There are crime scene photos, search warrants, and evidentiary logs, more than 1,300 pages in total. The voluminous file had been County Attorney Mary Moriarty relied on in part to file murder and manslaughter charges against Lange again. Includes audio recorded interviews with state patrol trainers about use of force tactics as well as taking seatbelts off uncooperative subjects. We teach them how to do a single extraction and then we teach them how to do a team extraction. Um, approaching from the driver's side and the passenger side to try to do under the seatbelt and maintain and control, uh, positive control of the suspect so that we can limit the amount of risk going into the car. So shooting someone was not a, an appropriate or necessary use of deadly force in this situation. Moriarty had said at the outset her team relied heavily on the belief Longigan and the other troopers did not properly follow their training in dealing with Cobb, who was first spotted driving out of downtown Minneapolis without lights on in the middle of the night. But Moriarty eventually dropped the case in early June before ever taking it to trial. This was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. In a transcribed interview with Trooper Brett Seide, who first initiated the traffic stop and was inside Cobb's vehicle when Longigan fired, he told prosecutors, quote, if Trooper Longigan did not use force to stop this threat, the outcome would have been worse. And an interesting final note in the BCA file, Bureau special agents were still collecting evidence in the case on May 30th, specifically the unused stop sticks from Trooper Ryan Longigan's squad car trunk. That, of course, just days before prosecutors ultimately dropped the case. While the criminal matter, matter certainly is over now, there is a federal lawsuit filed by the Cobb family still pending. Paul Bloom. Fox 9.